Salutations Nick Rikis. welcome back to another video and today we are doing the FNAF Plus Showcase once again. Today we have a lot of submissions and they all look really good but today is a very special episode and you guys will see why later in this video. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, first up we have this amazing Vanny Plush. This is really accurate and this is really good. This looks a lot better than the one that Funko came out with because this one is more game accurate and also this one looks a lot more um, on point with the FNAF plushes. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Vanny that we got even though a lot of people don't, but I very much like the one that we got, but this one is still extremely good. I love like how they gave him the big beady eyes, I like the red ones. Um, the smile is a lot better um, instead of just like that bunny face. Blue bow tie and like different color white fabric and also the bent ear. And right beside it is a little mini Rena, um, which is also like I'm pretty sure we have gone over that in, uh, in the past uh, few episodes. But all in all, great plush, great job on both. And yeah, great Vanny. You did better than Funko, that's for sure. All right, next one is a flex, but next up we have Glitch Trap, and right beside it is a Golden Freddy, which is a flex to people who don't have them. Fortunately, I have them, so haha. -ha. But anyways, this Glitch Trap is customized for Vespere and Bonnie. It looks really well done. Uh, of course, they um, right underneath the muzzle, they decided to put the teeth in the, f uh, the mouth, uh, gave him whiskers, red eyes, and also even gave him some footprints on his feet and a more underline under his ears. Um, and even a button. Overall, a really good custom. Very impressed. And yeah, also congrats on having Golden Freddy. All right, next up we have this Molten Freddy that looks incredible. I love this plush. Makes me want to make my own one day, but uh, I don't know. I might just make mine from scratch. Nah, uh, uh, that is an inner body with a Funtime Freddy head uh, colored over and given a new eye. And it looks really well done. I very much like this. Um, and this is actually very, like, a really good idea for future um, Molten Freddy's. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in the past in uh, the past few customs, uh, custom showcases. But this one is really, really good. Um, they made the muzzle more orange, which is more on point with Molten Freddy. Uh, his eye has a yellow point in the middle, so more like Ultimate Custom Knights one. Uh, the black eye and the gray body that is similar to Ennard's. Overall, great job. I love this and keep up the good work. All right, next up we have the purple guy. This doesn't really count as a plush, but like this is really well done and I just couldn't not like include this on the showcase. It looks really well done. It's super accurate. It's basically just like a Minecraft version of um, purple guy which is what you've seen in one of my previous gameplays make sure you guys check that out if you haven't seen it but um, I really 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 like this um, if they made a plush in that type of style I would totally buy that uh, because one it'd be unique and two it fits purple guys personality a lot more since he's an 8-bit character so it would be weird to be giving him the Funko style if you were even if gonna give him a plush so I really like this purple guy. It's really well done, and I'm excited to see what uh, you do with this purple guy in the future. Make sure you let me know. Next up, we have a uh, withered foxy. It's really it's like a chibi version of him, and it looks adorable. I love it, and it's a great great job. Um, you got the tears all over the stomach. You drew in the muzzle, which was very nice. You got the eye patch, the torn uh, ear on one side, and just the regular ear on the other. You have one regular ear, and you even got a little bit of tears, and you got a little tiny hands for um, Weather Foxy's hand. This was um, this was a very good idea. Like I know it's simple, but it's it's sweet, it's sweet and simple. And um, yeah, overall good job. Next up we have Endo O2. This is a really good job, and I love it. I love how it was given the endoskeleton for um, its stomach, given the little chibi arms and his skinny legs. And I love that smile that the endo has and the big blue eyes. It's really, um, it's really good. Um, I'm very surprised that we don't have an actual endo plush yet. And the fact that we haven't got one is sinful, but like, whatever. 
Um, we'll, we will get one uh, soon enough, hopefully. And hopefully it'll be like it'll have a big smile like this one because I love it. Uh, great job on making this. And yeah, I am very, very impressed. This is definitely one of my favorite of the endo plushes I've seen. Next up is Choco Bonnie. Really um, unique one. I really like Choco Bonnie as a character in general because it was a very unique idea. And this one is no exception. This plush is great. Um, I love the blue bow tie you gave him. You gave him like the candy for his buttons uh, that he has. The big uh, pink nose and the very, uh, the very nice white eyes uh, with um, like the pupils of course. Brown body for the chocolate look. Uh, um, and yeah, I uh, got a little ears, the body, the feet. It kind of looks like the same style as that Withered Foxy that we went over. But yeah, overall, great Choco Bonnie. And yeah. Okay, next one is very personal and very, very dear to my heart. I will always have this saved on this PC because I, I, I love this and I'm very happy. Someone made uh, one of my OC. And I love it. Um, FNAF Plus Studios made this. Great job, man. I love how you got my logo right in the middle on the belly. Uh, you got like the uh, the bear. You like you got the like well you got the Freddy body, the big hat, the eye patch, the blue cheeks, the blue eyes. He just looks adorable, and I love it. I'm so happy. And thank you so much for making this. It means the world that someone took the time to make a plush of my character. So thank you very much. And yeah, great, great job. I love this. Makes me want to make my own one day. So the same guy that made that glitch trap that we saw a few, days, uh, a few episodes ago um, made a Molten Freddy that is a very unique design that I haven't seen before. And it looks really, really good. Um, it's very like small, but it's still very, very good. And I like I like chibi plushies because they're cute, and this one's no exception. They made Molten Freddy cute. I didn't know how they could do that, but they did. Um, the big they got the big orange hat, the big ears with the orange in, um, inners, and the orange muzzle, the like grayish white uh, face, black eyes with the white uh, with the yellow pupil. And also some pipe, uh, gray pipe cleaners to give it like the spaghetti look that Molten Freddy has. Overall, great job, and I'm very impressed. Keep up the good work, man. All right, next up we have another Choco Bonnie that was even given a little set that kind of reminds me of uh, the poster that he was in when he was posted on uh, Instagram on the Illuminix uh, Instagram page. But uh, the plush looks really good. Um, you can tell it's chocolate, uh, Choco Bonnie because it, it's a brown Bonnie, of course. But like, I do like the set that was even made for it. It was a really like nice detail to add to it. And like, personally, like, I I'm ve I'm very impressed. Um, I really like um, I really uh, like the color choice because it looks more like the actual chocolate Bonnie, in my opinion. But overall, great job, buddy, and also great job on the. Uh, set to all right apparently this is a popular choice uh, this episode we have another molten Freddy but this one looks extremely good I really like how um, it was given like a little stand it was given it was like this one's completely homemade it looks like and the face looks great it was given nightmare teeth the black hat the orange eye um, orange uh, in the ears the black um, eye with the tears near it the orange muzzle, and even the, you got the orange cheeks, the big black bow tie, and the, uh, the kind of looks like inner arms and inner body, just not no legs. It was just given more of a stand so it can stand up. But I'm very impressed with this, and I would really like to see um, more plushes like that. And honestly, if Funko is going to make a Molten Freddy, I'd recommend this style, honestly, because this one is more game accurate. This one is just like a simplified version of it, and I really like it. Good job. Last and definitely not least is um, FNAF Plus Studios OC that he decided to make and put beside mine. And I love it. It looks like it was done in the inner body style, and yeah. This one I'll also always keep because it's very dear to my heart that you were the first person to make um, 
uh, a plush of my character. So thank you very much, and your plush looks really good. I love how you put your logo as the face. Adorable. And yeah. So great job, man. Thank you so much for Nat Plush Studios, and thank you everyone for submitting. I love you all. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, make sure you guys um, comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. But before we get into that, um, all credit goes to the people who submitted the plushies. The people who made the plushies are the ones who get the credit, not me. So if you're saying any compliments, make sure you compliment them, not me. They're the talent, not me. Anyway, so that being said, great job, everyone. I love all the plushies. Keep on submitting them. It makes my day when I'm able to see a really good custom made by someone. And, yeah. Thank you guys all so much um, for everything. And with that being said, that's going to wrap it for this video. So make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.